In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simul age simulation uh, exercise from zero. And I left my email address in the box below in case you need any details. And I'm going to do several videos and put them in a playlist. And just like as a new hobby, learning the software. So we do, we have the starting point. And so I'm going to zoom in, but just scrolling, you know, that little circle on the mouse. And so you could either click on this and select a key, or you bring this one. And we have activity. I will show you how to do things in details. Then we have, or as I said, you could click on this, which is faster. Okay. So the next point would be I click on graphics and I show the name. So this one, I double click on it and it's going to be system and and here I select the distribution, which by default is in minutes. So one every 10 minutes on average. Okay. And if I'm not happy with the position of this, so I'm going to do it as minus 35. And here, wrap text around 50. So it goes into a new line if it is a long sentence. Okay, so... If I need to connect activity to the queue ahead, sorry, the system in to the queue. So either I click on this and goes like this, okay, or, or I click on shift and I keep clicking on shift and it goes, then I remove my hand. If I want to remove it, I click on shift and goes from here to there. So it get removed. So I click on shift and for example if the queue is here and I want to change the shape of this. So all I have to do is as I done like I highlight uh, I click on the line and then I move it by hand. Okay so this is the queue so if I want to double click so this is machine queue for machine A the question here, capacity is infinite, so it can hold as infinite number of units or entities. If the capacity is 20, so the other will be removed from the system. Shelf life, which means if you waited for a bit of time, for two, five minutes, it, you would leave the system. It can be thrown out of the system. Minimum wait time, if you impose this, so it has to wait for five minutes, for example, as minimum. How does it deal with it? Last in, first out high volume, segregate result, and prioritize. If you don't click on any of them, so it goes as five, four, which is first in, first out. Okay. So here, even you could do one thing, number of items at start. So how many items were there in the system before when you start running the system? Okay, so if we click on the show properties, and then similar to it, so minus 35 and as those are a trial and error so in a way you could just move them if I want for example to move it uh, so I'm gonna say 50 so I'm gonna show you as I move it up and down. concerning activity A so I'm gonna name it as machine A and I keep the time as average of for 10 minutes Okay, I'm going to deal with this later on as a resource, routing in, routing out action in the different videos. So this is machine A and this is machine B. And this is the queue for machine B. And so if I select on graphics, I get it. And I need to change this as we did before. So this one is 50. And so the value is here. Okay. So if this one is here on the top, again, I click on the line anywhere I want. And then I do this. Okay. So I click on the line. 
and similar to here. It's very easy. It takes a little bit of time to get used to it, but it's, it's that easy. So you click on that one here, and okay. So we have Q for machine B, machine B, and this is system exit. All right. So I always like to show what we got here. Another thing I need to do, so you have to click on this, it's much nicer. You click on graphics and then you say Q, so you have them like this. So you could literally see them counting in the system. Okay, and similar to this, so you have them as Q, the same as I've done before. So you could see it as moving in the system. Okay, all right. So one more thing we need to do, so this is my system. So we have to go to data and rules, clock, properties, so which I'm going to explain this in a separate video. Okay. Well, let's do it now. So we have clock properties, time unit of minute, hours, and day. So if you say days here, so you have simple, you have here a.m. Monday at 9 o'clock. As you could see here, starting Monday, days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, five days per week, start time of day nine, and it finished, and the working hours per day is eight. In my case, I just wanted to, just like to, uh, to specify the value. So if I want to run it for 500 minutes, so I end up beeping on collection, so this is what I do. So you could see I can't change those anymore. So if I let I select this, so it's either this one or that one here, okay? And the warm-up period, usually the warm-up period to reach steady state. And so you could select any value and it's not counted towards the result in a system. So if I click on OK, you could see it here, or you could do clock properties, sorry. You could do this one, clock on main window. And you could put this one anywhere you want in the system. So if you click on home and the run button okay so i'm gonna stop it for a second and click on reset and then just to show you what's happening briefly so we have the run button we have the reset and we have the step step literally it move one step at a time every time an entity arrives the system or it moves through the system it shows you what's happening so if i click on this and we have the run speed here in the system. It's better to set this run speed before you start or after you start. Okay, so if I do it fast, now we reach 500 and there's 40 to 50 has been uh, issued in the system. 42, they reach the exit point. Again, if I want to reset the system, I have to click on this one to make everything a zero. If I'm not seeing this, I need to click on those at all the time. Okay, so if I run it again, and I click on those so you could see there are three in the queue here when you finish the system. Okay, if I go slowly and then I reset it and again, so what's happening, you could see it moving in the system. Okay, so if you have any question, please let me know. Okay, I could always send you a copy of this specific file. Thank you.